that's the that's the, the breakdown of it. The reason why they'll record themselves um, thinking that they're not gonna get banned because I'm not showing myself selling no dope. I'm showing myself with this money. I'm showing myself uh, drinking this good lean. I'm showing myself smoking this good blunt. I'm not. I'm not doing nothing illegal. I ain't selling no dope, so how I'm snitching on myself? That's the way they're thinking. And the reason why they're thinking like that is because their mom is the mom who decided that the nigga that she had to pay to fuck her is a good father. Don't be no bitch. Don't be no hoe. Don't be no snitch. Just tell them no. Just be my nigga. Just be my wall. Get better, honey. Don't be no foe. Don't be no bitch. Don't be no hoe. Don't be no Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, and this is Are You Serious? As in, first of all, uh, go to the PayPal. If you haven't went to the PayPal, I appreciate everybody who went to the PayPal. If you're donating, love, love, love. I fuck with Ayo Nation. Uh, local rappers, go to the Facebook Messenger, not the Instagram, um, and we'll talk about your advertisement, getting your promo and shit like that. Go to the fucking Facebook Messenger. How are you niggas still going to the Instagram after I'm telling you? Go to the fucking Facebook. I don't like. I'm not trying to be on that shit, but goddamn, that shit easy as fuck. Go to the Facebook. How are you niggas still going to the Instagram? The fuck? But yeah, let's talk about how you niggas. Uh, Cause it's probably y'all niggas. You dumbass niggas who can't listen to fucking simple directions is the same niggas who are making uh, people go into the policeman career because it's the easiest career that you can have these days. These days, to be a police officer, all you gotta know is how to work social media. If you know how to work social media, you can be a top-notch fucking detective. The days of fucking having to be like Monk and have to pick up shit and then fucking, you know what I'm saying, read DNA and fingerprints, that shit old with. All you need to know now is how to work your goddamn tablet or any goddamn electronic device. You'll find every murder, every goddamn crime you want to find. If you want to be, real talk, if you want to be a narcotics officer, you, all you have to have is a fucking Facebook account. And you good. You'll know who booming and bucking. You know, you know what I'm saying? Who goddamn own dope? You'll be able to tell all oh, this good shit, whatever like that. You'll be able to find whatever weak bitch or weak-minded bitch that you can send to a nigga. Anything. You can find a broke bitch to send that hoe to a nigga because she going to need some money. Anything. You'll find out a motherfucker whole life on it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm telling niggas now. Like, if you get if 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 uh if you get in a relationship with a bitch and she turn out to be a slut bucket bitch, uh, that's on you, big home. Because nowadays, a bitch social media is her fucking life. Her social media gonna tell you exactly who the fuck she is, how she is in relationships, and you can also tell how deep her mind is by the post that she puts up. If you, if this is the bitch that write down, uh, niggas ain't shit when it come down to the time when you gotta see who you, your friends is. I want a nigga who gonna uh, where the real niggas at. If uh, uh, it, if you got a good job, uh, like this post. I'm trying to see something. What the fuck? I I just on my phone, dog. I just unfollow. Like I was unfollowing as many bitches as I could that had any kind of. Re- if bitch, if you make a post that you talking in and you don't got no picture, you unfollow. You unfollow. I mean, I got it. I got. I can't unfriend a hoe because I need them hoes to see what I got going on. But bitch, you unfollow. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck is you making posts? And that's what I think. Like, it, like Facebook is for ugly hoes, ugly fat bitches, because they can just talk. And they ain't got to put no picture up. Instagram is for bad hoes, because you got to actually show something. And I think that's what it is. That's that's another shot. I'll get on that later. But as far as you trap niggas, man, you real street niggas, man, uh, I had a young nigga hit me up in the uh, in the comment section. Or, no, he actually sent me a message on Instagram. And said, read the whole thing. Nigga wrote a whole book. He was 21 years old. And uh, he was saying, like, please speak on what's going on with these young niggas telling on themselves online and shit like that. And, you know, that, that, that's in lieu of the the, uh, the Rollo situation. 
Uh, we got Kodak situation. I mean, pretty much every artist that got fucked up, um, other than Kevin Gates, even when Kevin Gates, that was on film, but he didn't do it himself. Um, and what I'm talking about now is actually telling on yourself, you know, directly or indirectly. Um, of course, Kodak Black didn't tell on himself, but you have a camera letting your probation officer know exactly what you're doing on that day. So it's kind of like, now probation officers can have a new probation to where instead of having an ankle monitor on, you have a body cam. You're volunteering another service for probation. Now you have a fucking body cam on at all times. They can see exactly what you're doing. You gave them a whole camera. Instead of, see it used to be when the feds wanted to investigate, they had to sneak into your house or get you to rent a house and they already have got, they had to do a whole operation. They had to have cameras in the house already, sneak into your house while you going and put cameras and, and, and fucking tap up under the desk and put those in, wire taps on the phone. Now, they can save, like, I don't know what the fuck, like, we should be getting reparation and everything because they not spending no money on tapping shit. Cause they got everything they need. You doing it voluntarily. These motherfuckers, I think that the motherfucking feds are in with the phone agencies, Sprint, Verizon Wireless, uh, whatever the else the fuck, AT and T. Like these motherfuckers is in with them. Like of course Facebook, Instagram, they in with them too. But I think these motherfuckers in with the phone services. Uh, Edward Snowden, or Eric Snowden, let us know that you no, know, the NSA spies on us through our phones and our, our social media accounts. And then we just had that uh, prime analytical situation where um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg had to stand up and talk about how he um, was selling out his uh, users' information to Democrats and Republicans, pretty much to the highest bidder with prime analytical, uh, which was a very good scam. I got to tip my hat off to him. But with all these situations, all this knowledge that's given to us, letting us know that your phone is not your friend. Your phone is a surveillance dev device for whoever. Whoever wants to tap into it. If they need to locate you, there is no turning off your location. We saw that even on the first 48, you see that they pinging. They hit you with the ping to see where the fuck you was at. So how is it, man? How is it that you niggas are still the the biggest question niggas are saying is like how is you niggas wondering who snitched on you when you getting banned? Man, them motherfucker guys swear to God, boy. That fuck nigga, boy, I know who I know what's that, boy. That damn them nigga black nigga, I swear to God, boy, that's the only nigga I fuck. Boy, nigga, it wasn't 30 minutes, bro. It wasn't 30 minutes, bro. That's not sir, bro. They swoop down on bro on every day. On everything, bro, I swear to God, bro. I had just, it was about, about four pounds. It was about, about two ounces, bro. About two ounces, bro. I had just served, bro. You know what I'm saying? That big bro said he want a whole thing gas. Yeah. I had served him up. Because, nigga, you know, Auntie Kelly, she came down there while I real talk. And I had I had walked down there. I told Scooby, nigga, shit, nigga, take that shit down there for me. I swear to God, bro, on everything, bro. That, that who got me up in here, bro, I real talk. That's why I need you, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? My bond, $50. You can do it for me, bro. Damn, bro. I wish I sure wish you could do it for me, bro. Damn. Just hearing that shit, it, it fucks with me because it's like this, this, that's the mindset of most you niggas. You niggas, and I, I don't think you niggas ever had a chance because you niggas was raised by single mothers, and your mother ain't number two years older than you. Your mother, she going, you can't even go to the club without your mama being up in there and shit like that. So you dumb as fuck. She ain't give a fuck if you graduated because she dropped out at 15 and a half years. You niggas ain't ever had a chance. So it's like, you know, I want to speak to the younger folk, but why the fuck would these young niggas listen? What can I tell you niggas? You niggas is retarded. Listen to what these niggas just said. Boy, I swear to God, look, bro, on everything. Look, I was going down there, bro. You niggas sniffed on, bro, real talk. Bro, bro, man, he told the law. Man, need a law, bro. He the law, bro. I swear to God, one third minute, bro. Swear to God, one four pull me that on me, bro. Real talk. You ain't got that fifty, bro, bro. It's like we we in such bad shape out here, man. It's like the niggas who need to be spoken to can't hear. They can't hear. 
and I don't think it's their fault. I, I blame it on the parents. The strong black woman that you, uh, strong, all that ducking and shit, that, uh, I'm a strong black, I can do it myself. If you can do it yourself, bitch, why in the fuck are you, uh, all this other bullshit? Uh, you can do it your fucking self. Uh, he, he knew the world when he, he knew the world when, when he went on condom. He knew the world. Hold up, hold up, hold on. He knew it. So hold on, you're saying that he knew that you were not only going to get pregnant, but he knew that when you got pregnant, you were going to have a child, even though you already have two children that you are on welfare for. You stay in the project, meaning that you can't pay none of your bills. You pay $9 a month for your whole life. $9 a month. You get food stamps out the ass. You get tax at the end of the year, all that shit like that. You are broke as fuck. You went to school for two weeks, a week and a half, and got a CNA license. So you can go white, old white men ass, and uh, tell, tell them that the fucking, or you don't need to tell them before the doctor gonna come. You clean up fucking bed pants. You struggling as is, you fat bitch. You struggling. And you saying that this nigga that you met two months ago knew that when he was drunk and high, when he fucked you, that you were going to have a baby. Even though you made sure that you kept telling him that you independent, uh, you don't need no nigga, and you don't want no more kids. Because you got to take care of the one, you, like, you, you show him how much you struggling with the ones you got now. And he know you struggling because he ain't helping you with no fucking bills. You having to pay this nigga goddamn, you having to give this nigga $20 every time you want a goddamn a blunt or something like that. You giving this nigga money. But as soon as that nigga busts up in you, he falls the material. Nigga ain't got a car, a bike, a piece of a job. This nigga don't even trap. You had to buy this nigga a PlayStation 4 and you buy him grams of weed so he can stay high so that he don't mind fucking your ugly ass, you fat bitch. This is what you do. And so, but he's just like the rest of your baby daddy. That's why you don't mind. But understand what I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to you because, see, these niggas that are using this phone, for what reason? The reason they're doing it is because they want a bitch. They want to be seen as I'm that nigga. That's the, that's the, the breakdown of it. The reason why they are recording themselves, um, thinking that they're not going to get banned because... I'm not showing myself selling no dope. I'm showing myself with this money. I'm showing myself uh, drinking this good lean. I'm showing myself smoking this good blunt. I'm not. I'm not doing nothing illegal. I ain't selling no dope, so how I'm snitching on myself? That's the way they're thinking. And the reason why they're thinking like that is because their mom is the mom who decided that the nigga that she had to pay to fuck up is a good father. So that nigga who's recording himself, CEO, uh, recording himself, smoking a good gas blunt, drinking lean, and driving at the same time, his mom is that lady. That's his mom. He never had a chance. He never had a chance. And that's the same mom, because as soon as you get bam, when that nigga tell her, man, man, Popo snitch on bro. Mom, I swear to God, man, I ain't did nothing. Popo snitch on me. Oh, hell no. Nah. Popo snitch on my baby. Oh, hell no. Nah. Popo snitch on my baby. I'm coming down there, baby. Let me call your daddy. Lord Jesus. We in a bad situation, y'all. Um, let's talk about why niggas do it. Um, the reason why niggas are addicted to these phones. You see these niggas. Hey, my nigga, look. Let me talk to you niggas. Look, if you going live and ain't number two folk watching, dog, cut that goddamn camera on, dog. Ain't nobody coming. Ain't no goddamn. Let me. Just, I'm gonna let this shit run up a little bit. I'm goddamn gonna tell y'all what's going on. If you gotta be angry and mad, you gotta tell that shit. I'm about to whoop this fuck nigga. If that's how you got to title your live, and bitches, if you got to title the live, I'm finna get in the tub. 
if you got a title, it your shit, some naked shit or some fighting shit in order to get three or to four folks to watch your shit, you not live. Like get the fuck off of that shit. Really, I believe that social media is only for live people. People who have something going on, bad bitches, popping niggas and shit like that. If like social media fuck you motherfuckers head up so bad because now you motherfuckers feel like this you a star. You a star. That's why y'all talk the way y'all talk. I seen a girl today. She said, uh, dick pics are uh, turn off. I can't stand all these fucking dick pics. So hold up, ho. Hold up, ho. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You can't stand dick pics. But, ho, you don't look like shit. So in real life, niggas do not talk to you at all. But your response to niggas, you catfishing niggas and them want to send you dick pics, which they're not. She's lying. It's probably one nigga said hey to her. Now it's, ah, oh, these niggas sending me dick pics. Oh, my God. Oh, I wish these niggas just get the fuck off me. Oh, my God. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I know you faking, ho, but so I do what I'm saying. Let's say that niggas was hollering at you. You telling me that you going from niggas not even seeing you in real life? Like, niggas just looking, you being invisible to niggas because you so ugly and shit like that? To now niggas warn you and you don't like it? That's what I don't like. So, ho, what you should be saying is, oh, my God. I love the internet. Know what I'm saying? Don't even tell them why you love it. I love social media. Know what I'm saying? Because you happy because you getting what you want. My only issue is you niggas and you bitches that fake outrage shit. I'm just going to say this out loud so motherfuckers can know that goddamn I'm that bitch. Folks want me. It's like that old that old fashioned um, people are followers. So if I tell these niggas that niggas are sending me dick pics, that Jedi mind trick, reverse psychology, they gonna start sending me dick pics. And it's like, that shit, and, and that's so childish, but these be like 35 year old hoes saying this shit. And it's extremely childish, and it's like, I just can't stand by and let a hoe write that shit without me saying, bitch, stop lying, you ugly bitch. Ain't nobody, like, uh, put a screenshot up, hoe. Put up a screenshot, know what I'm saying? Like, really bust the whole eye. But, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, that's why I'm just, like, get these hoes on my timeline, because I just can't watch this dumb ass shit. You can't be no fat hoe, you know what I'm saying, whooping about, you know what I'm saying, me and my man don't have no issues. Like, shut the fuck up. Why are you writing that on social media? Why aren't you working out? Why are you on social media, like, flexing? Let, let me get back to what I'm talking about. Um, you niggas are the same way as hoes, though. Um... You on here and you want attention so bad that you don't even mind getting locked up for it. You want attention so bad that you don't mind losing your freedom for attention. Um, because what we know about black people is um, you get a new job, there will be no celebration. You get a new, uh, you graduate from school, there's no celebration. Um, you go into the military, there's no celebration. But you come out of jail and there'll be a celebration. Um, and we have to also attribute what they're doing kind of back to us. Bitches, once again, it comes back to you because if niggas knew that you weren't so fucking retarded, they wouldn't try to impress you with the money and phone to their ear. They wouldn't be dying for money if they knew that you value knowledge. Niggas would take the Lord Jamal book challenge and have and show you how smart they were. Uh, but instead, niggas try to show you how gangster they are, and you go right along with it because if the white man didn't make a system that would self-perpetuate, then it then it would have been broken. We would have been breaking out of the system that he put. But because this thing perpetuates itself, we go from that hood rat mother, that fat bitch who paid the nigga, you know what I'm saying, to fuck her, to now she has a son. Now... Her son gets with a bitch who was raised by, you know what I'm saying, another mother with the same, you know what I'm saying, who paid a nigga, you know what I'm saying, and they get together and they make a perfect match, they make a baby, then they stop fucking with each other, and it happens all over again. But the difference is, the the bitch that the little nigga attracts, she's not going to understand anything else but violence and money. You know what I'm saying? That's all she knows. 
Of course you want the nigga that look good because that's, that's just how simple hoes are and they, they gonna fuck the nigga that look good. But it got crazy when the hoes start being outright hoish saying secure the bag. All day long you hoes talking about jobs and jobs and secure the bag, all that shit right there. But the other 50% of the day, you're talking about love, 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 and that's what you truly want is love. And how could you have love when your whole existence is about money? You, you, you can have one or the other. You know what I'm saying? Do you want love? Because if you're hunting love, then money is going to be in a whole nother direction. I, I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. Um... How can I say it? Um, when you go on a cruise, because you bitches like going on cruises and shit like that. When you're on a cruise, you have to take a vacation from work. So you can't be getting money. It'll be a paid vacation, and you you can get money, whatever like that. But what if you don't find love in that first five days, and all you have is five days on your vacation? Now you have to give up that still got a groove back, you know what I'm saying, island shit to come back to get your money. You know that your you know that your 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 soulmate ain't where you work at. You know that your soulmate ain't, ain't in Mobile or in Foley or in fucking Monroe. You know that the love of your life is somewhere in Camden, New Jersey or fucking um, Idaho somewhere. But you can't go there because you're chasing money. You can see that the people around you aren't on the mind. The frequency that you're on, but you look into the National Geographic and you see that people in different places, like a place like fuck it, uh, Brazil, they're more on your, you know what I'm saying, wave. Why won't you go there? You won't go there because you're chasing money. You know what I'm saying? And usually you're chasing money and it's not just for you, it's for your family that you've made because you made a very bad decision. Who I want to talk to is the young people, understand, and really it's the young females, because I don't want y'all to be who these bitches are. At this point in time, 19 years old and up, and I'm being generous, 19 years old and up, they're worthless. They're already dead. Already dead. Our only hope, our only hope, is the next generation of female because they're they, they're really gonna run the world. It's gonna be on them if they gonna put niggas on child support. It's gonna be on them if they gonna know what I'm saying be a, a nothing ass bitch like these hoes. It's gonna be on them if they're gonna live in these section eight apartments where they know that people die at, where they know that gangs came from. It's gonna be on them because they, like they're the bring of life. Like that's who needs to be talked to. And I just never really believed in talking to a motherfucker nice to do something that they need to do. When you're in boot camp, motherfuckers don't talk to you nice to do what you have to do to get prepared for the war. They're not going to keep telling you, hey, could you run a little bit faster? Hey, uh, we're trying to, um, this is DRM training, and you have to shoot better. If you put the gun butt on your shoulder, could you just try to shoot this a little bit better? No, they're going to be on your ass about that shit. This shit is so important, and you motherfuckers don't give a fuck. You think it's willy-nilly, ah, oh, it's gonna be all right. Uh, how is it gonna be all right? If we keep on doing this shit, we're not gonna come out of this. And it's not gonna stop. You motherfuckers are putting weave in two-year-old girl's hair. When are we gonna stop this self-hatred shit? Self-hatred is, I don't like myself. Let me hide myself. So I'm going to hide myself behind a fucking painted face and some shit on my head that I don't know where the fuck it came from. And I got to take this shit off every night. And when I look in the mirror, I hate that person. So I make sure no one else sees me like that. It's not about the niggas. It's about the fucking girls. Because the government gave them all the fucking power. And you know that the government isn't good. You know that. You know that the government isn't good. So you know, you have to know that if they give you something, it's, it has some type of strings attached to it. The reason why they gave you all the power is because they know that you're not going to do nothing to change shit. You can change shit overnight. If you took that fucking money that you spent on weed and you put that shit into your fucking children, who'll be out this shit?
It'll be a, we would need reparations. We would have it. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Hey dumbass niggas, stay the fuck off them goddamn phones. Stop flexing. You look weak when you flex. You look weak when you fucking flex. And females, young females, if you stop admiring that shit, niggas would no longer do it. If you stop fucking with niggas that do that shit, if you stop fucking with niggas that go to jail and shit like that, niggas would try a lot harder to stop going. Hey, El Conseco, Big Face Podcast. Are you serious? Hit the PayPal.